You seem far too nice to be one of Ulrich's men. What can I do for you? They charged me five gold for littering. Littering! I barely make that in a year. These fines are ridiculous. Oh, please, don't even get me started. That madman won't be satisfied until everyone in town is dead broke. Or in jail. What in oblivion is Ulrich doing with all that money anyway? I'm sure he's lining his pockets with the gold of the good citizens of Chadenhall. Take my good friend Aldous Othran, for example. In the last month, he's been fined six times. Six! All for being drunk and disorderly. Have you ever gone past a guard barracks? When are they not drunk and disorderly? What kind of a stupid fine is that? Well, Aldous couldn't pay the last two fines, so they seized his home and threw him into the street until he could pay it. Bastards! The Count? He could care less about our plight. As long as the roast suckling pig is delivered to his feast table, he's as happy as can be. Well, there's one man who seems to care. Garrus Durellian, the second in command of the guard. I hear he isn't happy with Ulrich. I don't know what you can do for us in this situation. I mean, Ulrich is the captain after all. Perhaps you could speak to Garrus. You can find him roaming the county hall of the castle most of the time. Poor fellow. You may be able to find him roaming the streets of Chadenhall, probably drunk. Only a month ago he lost his wife. They were traveling the road from the Imperial City when a bandit raiding party struck. He barely escaped alive. Ever since then, he's been drunk. Sure, he gets rowdy sometimes, but he's never hurt anyone. I don't know where the Count found him, but I sure wish he'd send him back. He's a menace to this town. Garrus may be our only hope. What do you want? I spoke with Di Tsan at the Major's Guild recently. I've never seen someone so happy about being in the Guild. It appears you've spoken to Lavana. I know she sounds a bit like a raving madwoman, but she isn't far from the truth. Ulrich is definitely up to something. Every day, we take in exorbitant fines from the people. Where most of the money goes, I have a good idea. Ulrich keeps his quarters locked, but I've glimpsed inside. The things he has in there could never be purchased on a captain's salary. At first I thought maybe he was from wealthy stock, but many of the goods have been delivered recently. I'd love to bring him to task in front of Count Indaris, but I dare not without a solid witness that will speak against him. Honestly, she's never done anything to be fined or get in trouble. Yet. The person I'd love to bring in as a witness is Aldos Arthurin. That is, if we could sober him up for five minutes. I haven't approached him myself, as Ulrich has eyes everywhere. However, he doesn't know you well enough yet to suspect anything. If you want to help, you need to get Aldos to agree to become a witness. Nothing else can be done.
Beware of Ulrich. I wouldn't confront him at this time, as he'll surely have you thrown in jail. If you raise a hand against him and strike him down, you'll be accused of murder. Even if Ulrich doesn't do things by the letter of the law, I do. Aldos is living on the street now that his house has been seized. I begged Ulrich to give him more time, but he wouldn't. He won't be hard to find. Just follow the smell of stale mead. Make haste. Find him quickly. No telling what mischief he may get himself into, and we need him as a witness. You must locate Aldous. Who are you? Ha! That stupid Swit! Throw me out of my home, will he? I'll show him a thing or two about messing with an Othran. All I did was fall down, sure. Maybe even vomited on the floor of the tavern. Charge me six times, Ulrich! Charge me, you fetcher! Well, I'm not standing for this anymore. You come with me and I'll show you what the Othrans can do when their backs are to the wall. Get out of my way! This is my house. Get out of the way. Move, I say. Sir, this property has been seized by his lordship, the Count of Chadenhall. Leave immediately. I said move, or by my ancestors, I'll put you on the ground with a split lip. Sir, I must warn you that threatening a city guardsman is an offense punishable by a fine of no less than 50 gold. Pay, or be jailed. You, Swit! How dare you! Ulrich be damned! He can take his fine and stuff it up his backside! You've been warned. You're now under arrest. Please, come with me. I'll go nowhere with you, Fetcher. Nowhere! Stand ah, safe! You'll never take me down! <laughs> Move along, citizen. There's nothing to be done here. You saw what happened. I had no choice. Aldous attacked first, and I had to defend myself. If you don't like it, take it up with Ulrich. Poor Tivola. I hear she is turning Chadenhall inside out looking for her husband, Wraith. I hope nothing bad has happened to him. Wraith Lathandus is one of the greatest painters in all Cyrodiil. Sadly, he's gone missing. His wife Tivola is beside herself with grief. Move along, please. What's wrong? Oh no, they killed him? I can't believe this. Ever since his wife passed at the hands of the bandits, his life has been miserable. 
I had grown to become fond of him. I wanted to take him into my house, but I was afraid. And now look what's become of him. There are no more options left. Ulrich must be dealt with, and actions speak louder than words. You must do something for me. Go tell Ulrich that I have some information that incriminates him. Tell him to come alone, or he won't get it. Then lead him here, and I'll do the rest. I'll make the necessary arrangements for his burial. He'll be buried next to his poor wife. I'll deal with him soon enough. Ulrich will not buy his way out of this one. He'll pay I Good evening. We must put an end to this travesty of justice. Aldos will be mourned. I won't sit by and watch the innocent being driven to the brink like that. Something must be done, but without bloodshed. Levana has always been quick-tempered. You must reconsider her plan. It can only lead to prison for her and for you. I swear that Ulrich will pay for this. We must handle this carefully and prove to the Count that he needs to be arrested. Ulrich has been watching me, so I haven't been able to enact a plan I devised to bring him down. That ends today, now that you're here. The evidence we need to incriminate Ulrich must lie within his quarters. You must sneak in there and retrieve it without being seen. If you're caught, there isn't anything I can do to help you. Just be careful. Aldos's death is indeed a tragedy. We'll do what we can to put his you soul... You look like you've swung a mace or two in your time. We must put an end to this travesty of justice. I can't believe it. The Great Prince has been beaten. There's a new Arena Grand Champion now. Someone called Man O' War. Beware of Ulrich. If you raise a hand again... Aldos's death. So it is.
Can't you see? I don't like being disturbed. Piss off. It's all over, lawbreaker. Your spree is at an end. I'll take any stolen goods you have. The next move... You've done it! This letter will spell his undoing when I present it to Count Indaris. Splendid work, splendid work indeed. I must hasten to the Count and deliver this immediately. Please, meet me back at the Chaden Hall Bridge Inn in about two hours. shrewd businessman. Mariana and Sharia, hostess of Shaden Hall Bridge Inn. We provide beds and food to persons of quality in the Shaden Hall community. I've heard that Hill the Tall knows a lot about alteration, how to cast shields and that sort of thing. The Count, Andel Indaris, is a Lalu Parvenu, but his steward, Naspia Cosma, does her best to coach him on the finer points of Imperial etiquette. Our most celebrated citizen is Rice Lathandis, the famous painter. Speak to his wife, and she might let you take a peek into his studio. You too. After speaking to the Count and... In light of the evidence you recovered, Ulrich has been removed from his post and arrested. Many guards are coming forward with more evidence of his greed, so it's safe to say he'll be spending quite a bit of time in the city dungeons. I've been promoted to the post of Captain of the Guard, and hope to return respect to the peacekeepers of this town. The Count and I thank you for helping bring Ulrich's hold on Chadenhall to an end, and for doing so without unnecessary bloodshed. As a token of our gratitude, as you did this, at the risk of false imprisonment, or perhaps your life, we reward you this bounty of gold. On behalf of the people of Chaden Hall, I thank you. Ulrich will be spending years in the city dungeons. This should give him plenty of time to reflect on what he's done. We finally got him. 
There'll be no excuse. I'm overjoyed to hear that Garrus has replaced Ulrich as the captain of the guard. I'm sure he'll do a fine job. Though I'm happy that Ulrich has been removed from his post, I'm still saddened that there'll be no true retribution for Aldous. When I was younger and living in Vardenfell, my parents instilled in me the code of an eye for an eye. It's hard not to see that through. I'm sorry, I shouldn't berate what you've done for Chaden Hall. Everyone appreciates what you did, as do I. Did you hear the news? Ulrich Leland was thrown in the dungeons for stealing money from the city coffers. <laughs> Justice for the little guy. Farewell, Sergio.